Right. Hi, everyone. My name is Jory Pearsall. I'm a senior product manager at GRE International. Um, I was the first local addition to our product team here in the US. Um, I'm basically responsible for producing our first wave of mobile social games for GRE uh, that we'll be launching with the OpenFaint platform. Um, prior to joining GRE, I spent four years as a product marketing manager at Google. Uh, most recently, I was working on the launch strategy for Google+. Plus and, uh, Prior to that, I was based in Tokyo as the Asia-Pacific marketing lead for Android, covering our phone launches across the region. Um, so I want to start off giving you a little background on GRI for those who might not be familiar. Um, we were founded in 2004 by Yoshikazu Tanaka, and um, it started out as a passion project, actually, but quickly bloomed into a very viable business and um, really started to hockey stick once we launched our mobile platform in 2006, um, growing to the point where we are today with over 25 million users in Japan. And um, in January of this year, we opened Gree International um, here in the Bay Area. Um, Earlier this year, in April, we acquired OpenFaint, uh, which gives us not only a fantastic team, but also a user base of over 100 million gamers. Um, and we are continuing to grow very, very rapidly. So to understand why we decided to make this move internationally at the time that we did, it's really important to understand this transition from PC to mobile that's going on across the world right now. Um, so if you look globally, we're at an inflection point right now where for the first time we're seeing smartphone sales outpace PC sales. Um, this is super, super important because with the mobile phone, with a smartphone, you have constant connectivity. You have a device that gives you an internet connection all the time. I even saw a stat recently that something like 83% of young adults don't or keep a, their mobile phone within three feet of them at all times, even when they're asleep. So it's really within arm's reach 24 hours a day for these people. Um, this is a very similar trend, what we saw in Japan a decade ago, where you know starting with iMode in the early 2000s, and now over 90% of the population is connected to the mobile internet. Um, in the US, where do we see this, uh, this mobile usage? Um, really, it's more and more through applications. We see apps usage growing every day. Um, to the point where it's actually outpacing web browsing at this point. Um, and what are we doing in these mobile apps? It's really dominated by two areas, social networking and games. So for Gree, this makes a lot of sense given that we're a mobile social gaming platform. Um, now, mobile social gaming as an industry has been growing very, very rapidly in very similar lines to the way that Gree itself grew. So. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, we launched in late 2004 and saw good growth, but we didn't really see a dramatic inflection point until we launched our mobile SNS in 2006. And since then, we've grown into an open platform that supports thousands of third-party developers um, and a user base over 25 million. So we expect to see a very similar growth curve with the entire mobile social gaming industry globally. Um, our model at GRI is a little bit different than what you see in the US. So here in the US, you have platform players like Facebook, and you have game providers like Zynga. GRI in Japan, we provide both a platform and high quality social games. In the US, we're doing the same strategy, only this time, OpenFan is our platform, and we as GRI provide these high quality games. So it's a very similar model that you might find with Nintendo, for example, where they're providing a platform, but then also providing flagship content that builds the user base, shows what's possible on the platform, and makes it more appealing for third party developers, because when they come in, they have a user base and they understand what they can do. Um, so in terms of where we see gaming going in the US, um, it's very clear free-to-play games are becoming the major driver of revenue. Already in the past six months, it's grown from under 40% to 65% of revenue generated. And this is really where we have the most expertise from our experience in Japan. And we're hoping to leverage that and uh, really be successful here in the US using the same model. Um, you know, when we talk about how successful we've been able to be in Japan, I think ARPU is one key point that we have in our favor. So we're seeing ARPUs of $4 per user compared to, just as a reference point, Zynga is around 
you know, 8x less. Um, now, obviously, there are some specifics to Japan that are responsible for this, such as the tight integration between carriers and the platform providers. But a lot of this comes from the deeper social integration that we've already built through our games in Japan and the higher quality game content that we're providing and the fact that people are more accustomed to playing on their mobile devices, which are, like I mentioned before, with them all the time. So we think we can really help close this gap in the U.S. and be successful in this market as well. Um, you know, in Japan, we already see that the mobile gaming market is outpacing the PC gaming market. And, you know, clearly, I think there's a path towards this happening in the U.S. and worldwide as well. Um, obviously, we're not the only people trying to uh, make this transition. There are a lot of very, very talented players uh, in the U.S. market. But given the pace at which the mobile market is growing and uh, the number of people that are becoming connected every day through smartphones, we feel like there's massive potential for growth. And you know, here at GREE, our mission is really about connecting people all over the world through the power of games. So you know, we're well underway to make that happen with our 25 million users in Japan, the 100 million plus users we have through OpenFaint, and our strong partnerships with Tencent and MiG33 that give us access to over 800 million users around the world. Um, and to cap things off, we are growing very, very rapidly here, and we're looking for quality talent. So if you're interested in joining us and making this mission happen, please uh, come talk to me. Thanks.